Let's throw a plastic horse into a pot of boiling water. Hey guys, it is Briar Trout here and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So we have a bit of a change of scenery here today. Sorry, the lighting is a little scary. I am just working with what I got here. But there are some ponies in my collection that are looking a little rough and I am joined by special guests. This is Mabel, my girl, my little chunky girl. Love her. I also have Oliver now, my other kitten. They're named after characters in Only Murders in the Building, if anybody cares. Hopefully Oliver comes later for a little cameo. But anyway, um, I have some problem ponies um, currently that are looking a little funky and they need to be fixed. So this is Dylan. He is one of the stablemate club horses from this year. And when I got this guy, he was just quite badly warped. Um, not ex sure exactly how this all happened, but you could see his ears all a little funky and then like his legs, like both of them are bent in. So I figured I'd just throw him in a pot of boiling water so that I could adjust him correctly. And then I do also have this guy, Salvino, I think is his name. Um, he's looking a little warped as well. This leg is coming in. So he actually does stand, but it's a little unstable. And honestly, this warp might be my fault because I did my unboxing video for him at um, a barn near me. And then I threw him in my hot car for a few hours and heat and plastic means not good things. But in this case, I'm using it to help me warp it back into the correct shape. I was also thinking about just using hot water for this because I heard that like some sinks can get hot enough that you don't need to stick it in boiling water and then move it. But um, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna stick with boiling water for today. And I think this little Dylan situation is gonna be somewhat entertaining. So just bringing you guys along for the ride. So let's fill this up and get this on the stove. Also, I am in my riding clothes right now. Don't mind me, but I went to the barn this morning and I'm going to a barn like right after this. So I was not changing. Anyway, look who decided to make an appearance. <laughs> this is Oliver who is in play mode right now, but he's our new little kitten. He's, he was born in April. He really doesn't want me to hold him, but we love him and they're getting along so well, it makes me so happy. But I also want to talk a little bit about boiling your model horses to fix warps. So I've actually made a video like this in the past. It had to have been like five or six years ago at this point. I was definitely still a teenager and probably about like a year or two ago, I think like a year ago, I was just scrolling on Facebook and I see my face in a model horse page, like of a thumbnail or like a screenshot of me in a video. I was like so taken aback because you know not expecting to see yourself like that ever so basically first of all it was a model horse sales group so I did not really have any space to be in there and if I can find the screenshot I will put it right here um but basically they were saying that that video damaged their model they were using like a black regular run model and from what I remember, it was kind of like mean to me. Yes, Oliver. Anyway, um, it was a little rude for me. Um, and I like commented on it and I was like, wow, was not expecting to see my face um, on my Facebook feed today. Uh, sorry this didn't work for you, but also like this has worked for hundreds of people I don't know um and it's worked for me like sorry it didn't work for you but like I don't feel like this is appropriate to be posting and like outwardly like you could say like the boiling water trick didn't work not like Briar Trot's video blah 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 did not work and it damaged my model and was like blaming me for it and was like you need to put a warning on like your videos basically or this video that it can damage the model First of all, I was like a teenager at the time um, and I was just doing something that I thought was helpful. I had no idea that it has ever damaged models, maybe glossies. And I think I, I probably did say in the video that like, don't do this on a glossy, but also like, 
you kind of have to do your own research with things. I don't know. It was just such an odd situation. And when I was thinking about doing this again, I was like, oh, I remember when that happened. But other methods that I've heard that you can fix a warp with is using a heat gun. Basically, it's just using some sort of heat. You could definitely try and use a sink first before you want to try and do the boiling water method. And if you are younger doing this, just be very careful. Definitely suggest having a older parental figure, somebody more responsible um, just to help you because it is very hot when it comes out and also the pot and all that stuff. So just as a safety precaution, honestly, I should probably be supervised while I'm doing this and I'm 23, so. Okay, it's starting to bubble slightly. Honestly, I am one of those people that will um, like not wait until it's fully boiling to like put my pasta in or something and it drives my boyfriend absolutely insane. But I just don't care. Like I'll just, it'll just have to cook for a little bit longer, but that's fine. I'd rather it just be in the pot. But anyway, we, I'm gonna grab a towel just in case it like is really hot. But basically all we're doing is like dipping it in, holding it in there for a few seconds and then ever so slowly like moving it to the side so that it warps back into the correct spot. So let's do that, I guess. Ooh. Sorry, okay, well you guys are gonna have to stay like this. I've also seen people use this in like, I'm, I don't wanna get burnt today, in like customizing, like, re sculpt re sculpt but like reposition models basically oh, there we go you could feel when it's like gonna move i can't tell if i did it too much or if i need to do it a little 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 bit more because he's still definitely like veering this way but i can't tell if that's i think that's more his front leg this leg if anything so yeah, it definitely is. So I'm going to take this off. Another thing I have to do is one of my, my custom to totalis, totalis, um has a peg stuck in his leg. I'm so sorry, guys. It, my thing is getting repaved right now. My whole like apartment complex is very annoying. This is just like such a tedious thing because you really don't want to rush it because obviously you don't want to snap their legs off. But I feel like it really does not take that much to warp them but that's why it's so important when you're like traveling with um there we go with like your models that they're not getting like in hot situations with pressure there we go looking good we're gonna try and fix our little our little dylan <laughs> so i am gonna try with the ear first so we see how it is crooked, which I honestly kind of like. I think it's kind of cute, but I also don't really want it like that. So I'm gonna try and switch up this angle so you guys could really see this all happening. Okay, unfortunately this is the best I can do because my little tripod is not doing me any favors. It's so really boiling now. I'm actually gonna turn it down ever so slightly. I don't think it really, really needs to be boiling, honestly. It just needs to like, um, not it just needs to be warm enough okay dunking his head oh it's hot okay that was easy i think it's a little kooky maybe we'll try and shift it over a little bit okay i'm happy with the ear going for the legs i really did just want to throw him fully in we're gonna go in with the tongs this must be like so funny for somebody to walk in and see. Oh, he's super bendy. Place him down. Okay, he's still slightly on his right side. Needs like ever so slightly more. Back in the boiling water. I feel like I'm losing purple poop. <laughs> I think it needs to be that long. I feel like the stable mates are not. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Look at him. Great success. Okay, we have moved to the kitchen table so that I would be able to see that they both stand really great now. But um, 
Mabel decided that she is the star, huh? Hurry along. So anyway, look at how, I'm really happy with how nice he stands and what, that took like five minutes total. Woo! And then this guy, he's still not perfect, honestly, but he was never really gonna be a show horse anyways. Um, he does have like a little rub on his knee. Um, but still, I just didn't want him looking like completely wonky on my shelves. So there you go. I am not gonna be calling this a tutorial necessarily because I know I probably didn't go into in depth as much as I should have, but I hope somebody finds this helpful. Um, do your research on like the risks and stuff. I'm pretty sure that using a hot gun is like the best method to do this, um, but I don't have one and I'm not going to buy one just for doing this <laughs> because the boiling method has worked. Of course, I actually do have a few glossies that I do want to get unwarped, um, but I have a friend with a hot gun, so I might just have her do that next time I see her. But yeah, this was a, a success. Glad y'all came along for the journey. Hope this was somewhat entertaining. Hope the repaving, construction, everything outside my apartment wasn't too noticeable. But if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did. Comment if this method has worked for you before or what method you use to unwarp your models. And subscribe for more model horse content. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay fabulous. Bye guys.